On 34, you are given the stem and leaf plot. You have to do all four things. Find the mean, find the median, find the mode, and find the mid-range. You also have to look at the data and be able to pull it off the stem and leaf plot. So let's do that. As I look at the stem and the leaf, I have 58, 56, 52. Let's go ahead and put them in order because I'm going to need it in order for the median. So I'll write 52, 56, 58. In the 70s, I have 70, 70, that occurs twice, 74, and 75. And in the 90s, I have 93 and 95. I will also mention this to you. Suppose this was a pencil and paper test, and I wanted a stem and leaf plot, and you had to construct it from scratch. If you gave me what they gave right here, I would deduct points. What did they not show that I think I mentioned last time you should show? There's some gaps. They went from the 50s to the 70s to the 90s. So there were no scores in the 60s. There were no scores in the 80s. If it was pencil and paper, I would want you to show that gap. So in the stems, I would have a stem for the 60s. I'd have a stem for the 80s. But I would leave those leaves blank. So just a little note about that. I would really kind of want to show those gaps. Let's answer the questions. Find the mean of the data. I did tell you, bring your calculator, take out your calculator. I'm going to go ahead and show you how to punch this in on the calculator. This calculator, the one that you're able to use, will calculate the mean for you, but you have to know how to put the data in. So I'm going to show you that right now. See this? It's written on the calculator, S-T-A-T. -T. That is the statistics menu. I have to put the calculator in statistics mode to put this in. So. It's written on the calculator. I'll press second, stat. Now it is showing at the top there in the display one variable statistics or two variable statistics. In this class, we're doing one variable statistics. That's underlined. Press equals to select one variable statistics. And then you see on the display, S-T-A-T. -T. It is now in statistics mode. To play it safe, I want you to clear the data. Now, we just put it in statistics mode for the first time. The data is going to be clear, but I'm going to show you how to do that. I'll put second stat. See that little arrow? after two variable statistics, there's more. Use the arrow key to go over. Clear data is underlined. Press equals. Again, that is to play it safe in case you put in more than one statistics problem. You want to clear the data from the previous problem. To put the data in, press data. X number one, the first data value. 
is 52. Put that in. You can press equals or we can scroll down. It says frequency. The default is one. That question is how many times does 52 occur? Well, it's one time. Use the down arrow. X number two is 56. Use the down arrow. It's a frequency of one. That looks good. Down arrow again. Next one, X number three is 58. Down arrow, frequency is one. We're ready for the next data point. 70. Now 70 occurs twice. So I'm gonna change the frequency to two and then hit the down arrow. That takes care of both of the 70s. We're to 74, frequency one. 75, frequency one. 93, frequency one. 95, frequency one. And I'll scroll down to X sub nine. Leave that blank. There is no other data value. And then we'll press stat there, S-T-A-T-V-A-R. And that'll do the statistics calculations. I have N first. N is underlined. So that's the number that's showing. What does N tell me? What is 9? How many data points there are? There are nine data items. Scroll to the right, X bar, that is the mean, right there. And that's what we wanted to calculate. Well, we want to calculate more than that, but there's the mean. 71.4 repeating. Round to the nearest tenth, 71.4. The next question is find the median. I'll go from each end, like I did before, the medians and one in the middle, 52 and 95, 56 and 93, 58 and 75, 70 and 74, and 70, the second 70 is in the middle. For the third one, find the mode. The mode is the one that occurs the most. That is 70. It occurs twice. The mid-range of the data set, so that's the high score, 95, plus the low score, 52, and divide by 2. So 95 plus 52, 147, divided by 2 is 73.5.